Hello and welcome to Rahman Digital Production. In today's lecture, we are going to create table through SQL command. But before that, let us discuss few terminologies which are associated with the database. The first one is database. The collection of different tables is called database. For example, if there is a one table of employees, the second one is of customers, the third one is of products. So combinedly, it generates database. The second one is table. What is table? The collection of different rows, which is in new terminology for the records. Record was an old terminology and row is a new terminology. So when we are entering different rows inside a table, it is called a table. Now what is row? The collection of different fields. Field was an old terminology. The new terminology is replaced by the column. So we can say the collection of different columns is called row and the new terminology is row. What is field? The collection of different character is called field. For example, employee ID is a field which is called column as well. So E is a character, M is a character, I is a character, D is a character. So the combination of different character is called field. Second field may be F name. So F N A M E and similarly character. The smallest piece of information that can be entered in a database is called character. So these were few terminologies with the which were associated with the uh, database. Now let's turn our focus to creating the table through SQL command. Uh, dear learners, you have learned in the previous lecture that you can create table in design view. But there is another and the most important way of creating the table is through the SQL command. Now here I am creating a table. So there is a command called create table and then you have to write employees inside the double quotation mark then parenthesis start. This is the field employee ID and that is integer. The data type is written in red and the field name is written in green. So we are restricting employee ID to only accept integers. First name is text, last name is text and salary is also an integer. Now primary key is restricting a field not to accept duplicate value inside that. So we are making employee D as a primary key and auto increment means that whenever you are entering a new record automatically the number will be incremented as 1, 2, 3, 4. Let us create this table uh, in DB browser for SQL light. First open DB browser SQL light and then click on the new database. I am writing the name is test. This is a test one and save it with that name. Now as you have created yesterday you created uh, the table through this add field and table. But this is not the choice for today's lecture. Let us create through SQL command and here you have to say execute SQL command. Here I am writing the uh, command which we saw in the slide. Dear students, I have written this command for you exactly as was indicated in the slide to 
save your time now if i want to run this command so i have to click on the execute button and it is saying that execution finish without error result and they are saying query executed successfully and the time in millisecond it took to create this table is also shown here so how can we see we have to go to database structure and here i have created a table with the and if i want to see the record inside so browse the table here employee id first name last name and salary is created then we can enter the data inside it this is not the lecture for entering the data we are only creating the table how to insert the data yesterday you learn it how to delete the record in previous lecture you have learned that as well now let's create another table you can see that the second table we are creating is a certificate so create table and you have to write the name of the table which must be meaningful you can write anything but the table name must be a meaningful there are only two fields inside it one is called employee id who is having a data type as integer and the second one is aircraft id and that is also integer so let us create this also in the db browser dear learners i have written this command exactly in the same fashion uh, as was in the slide so let us run this as well it is also executed successfully and it is created to see the data structure so we are saying database and this is the certificate and i am browsing the table so you can see employee id and aid are the two fields let's move back to the uh, slide let us create the third table and that is create table and the flight there are many fields inside it flight number integer and that is a primary key origin tax destination tax distance real uh, departure date time arrival date time fare real aid integer and let us create that also in db browser there it is i have written that code here as well so let us run it without wasting our time and it is also successfully executed so you can see that in the data structure that uh, flight is also created click on it and browse the data you can see that it is also certificate and flight is also here so from here you can select employees you can select certificate you can select flight and you can see the structure of it so here was the command for creating the flight now let's move and create final uh, table and that is create table aircraft there are four fields inside it aircraft id manufacturer name model and cruising range the data type of each field along with the primary key is written here let us create that also in db browser so you can see here that for your convenience i have written this command you have to write it exactly in the same fashion when you are doing your practice and then click on this execute button so it is also successfully uh, executed and now you can see the whole structure of the database so it is employees aircraft and certificate and flight so these are the four tables we have created right now 
so ladies and gentlemen that was the story of creating the table you can see that which particular command is used here whatever you have written in that execute sql it is also written here as well dear learner one thing more that i have entered the data for you people and i have created this table with the data so in the upcoming lectures we will use that database and we will do practice on that as well i will make it available for you people in the description so you can download it and whenever we are going forward along with this course then you can do practice on that as well let us observe that how i enter the data you should also observe that as well this is the database i have created and i enter the data so that will be used in the whole of the course for different sql commands let us observe this so i am first clicking aircraft id and then clicking on the browse data so you can see that 101 102 103 up to 116 are the aircraft id and this is cessna zenith british aircraft corporation alf aeronautics and gulf stream different type of aircraft manufacturer name is given and what they are manufacturing is given in the form of model these are the models of these manufacturers and this is the cruising range that can cruise till 7365 aeronautical miles they can go so these are the ranges they can cover these distances let's observe certificate so these are the id and these are the certificate given to different aircraft so employees this is employees these are the employee id auto number first this is and this is different salaries for per annum so these are the salaries and lastly not the least flight these are different type of flight from islamabad to tokyo and this is the distance covered and this is the departure time along with the date arrival time along with the date so fare is this one and aircraft id is this so you have to observe all these tables in advance so when we are executing different commands against these tables so you won't have any difficulty inside that command so observe it thank you very much for your time allah hafiz